How Catalysts Affect the Rate of Reaction A catalyst is a substance which speeds up the rate of reaction without being changed or used up. Catalysts provide an alternative reaction pathway, which means rather than the reactants using a pathway where more energy is required to start the reaction, the catalyst provides an alternative reaction pathway which requires less energy so the activation energy is lower. We can use the analogy of a steep hill to understand how catalysts provide an alternative reaction pathway. In this analogy, the cars drive over the hill from point A to point B. The cars drive up the steep hill. This uses a lot of energy. Only the cars with a lot of energy are able to drive up the steep hill. The cars with less energy are not able to carry out this journey. To allow the cars with less energy to get from point A to point B, so more cars can make the journey, a tunnel is built going under the hill. This tunnel has provided an alternative pathway, allowing the cars with less energy stored to make the journey. This analogy is very effective for explaining how catalysts work, as catalysts essentially do the same thing. They provide an alternative reaction pathway, which is a different route for the reacting particles to take. And this alternative reaction pathway lowers the activation energy, allowing a higher proportion of the reacting particles to successfully collide if they do collide. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here we have a container of particles where there is no catalyst and the activation energy is 100 joules. This means for a reaction to take place, the particles must be storing at least 100 joules of energy. This particle is storing 105 joules of energy, so if it collides, it can successfully collide. This particle is storing 100 joules of energy, so if this particle collides, it can also successfully collide, whereas these particles are storing less than 100 joules of energy. So if they collide with any of the particles, there will be no successful collisions, as they do not have the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to take place. So because there is a small proportion of the particles which have the energy greater than the activation energy, this lowers the chance of successful collisions. So if these two particles collide, where one particle has the activation energy and the other particle does not, the collision will be unsuccessful. A reaction will not have taken place. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. When we add a catalyst, this lowers the activation energy by providing an alternative reaction pathway for the reacting particles. Here we have the exact same reacting particles with the exact same amount of energy stored. The energy stored has not changed. The only difference is we've added a catalyst. This catalyst has caused the activation energy to be lowered to 90 joules. We can see how every particle now has at least 90 joules. They all have the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to take place. In other words, they all have the activation energy. So because of the catalysts, there is a lower activation energy of 90 joules. We can see that all the particles now have the activation energy. A higher proportion of particles 
now have enough energy to react. So even though particles still have the same amount of energy, when they do collide, this now results in successful collisions, as we can see here. So the lower activation energy causes there to be a higher chance of successful collisions. Remember, particles do not have more energy. The catalyst just lowers the activation energy. Also, the lower activation energy does not affect the frequency of collisions. The particles have the same frequency of collisions. The only change is the activation energy is lowered. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.